Full Metal Alchemist, Volume 12, Chapter 46. The Distant Image of Their Backs. Uh, horse and cart. Whoa! Where's that freaking out? What's wrong? You're acting awfully jumping today. It's almost as if it's afraid of something. And Hoyam's in the back, looking at the photograph. They cross one. Is that for your family? You're looking at it so fondly. Yes, I recently returned home after being away for a long time. I met with my oldest son. He's grown so much. He has such a look of strength in his eyes. It was as if he no longer needed a father. Did the two of you have a fight? Ha, <laughs> something like that. Now there's no longer any reason for me to go home. That's so sad. Puts the foot away. Well, I'm sure I'll see him again eventually. After all, we're both alchemists. Like, huh? He's like, alchemists? Blam! Oh, robbers. Hits running. Boom. Bandits. He takes the reins of mouth and he's loading up a gun. Bam! Shoots in the sky. Pah! Shoot a blam! Oh, get in the arm. Take the reins on the horse. Grab. And kick. Whoa! Easy now. Okay. He's out. They go to the back. Uh oh. When I'm in the way. Please, sir, calm down. You had nothing gained by taking our lives. So you want to go first, old man? Huh? Kablam, blam, blam. They shot him? What's wrong? Are you done yet? So he goes back. Hurry up. Them peas who saw that flare will be here any minute now. What's wrong? They look spooked. And... Whoa. Really now? That was uncalled for. How is he still alive? Can you just let us go? And they're like, Wah! Who's this guy? Does he have a metal play over his chest? I'll blow his head off. Blam! Kablam! Shoot again. Hey, here comes the MPs. Hmm. On horseback. What happened? Are you alright? We were attacked by bandits. Were any pastors killed? No. None. The bandits ran away without even taking the baggage. Ran away? Yes. Through his mouth. It was as if... They ran off, screaming as if they had seen a monster. He's still alive? The holes in him? How rude. Look how many times they shot me. Take that photograph. Good. The foe was in damage. They comes up to him. You. How are you still? Who are you? Is glass are broken? Looks at her. I'm a monster. Is he a homunculus too? We got the king, Lanfon, and Hurt, Prince, Gluttony. Presence on the pole. Hmm. And it's, <laughs> sword snaps. She used her kunai to dampen the blow. And she goes across the next building. Gluttony. Can I hear? Huh? Huh? Be quick about it. Pounce. All right. And the prince just slices through him. Hops over. Lawn fun. Oop. Pull yourself together. Let's get out of here. Okay. There's a present behind him. Switch. Huh? Picks her up. Do you really think you can escape from my watch by? I agree that it's doubtful. Shuffle, shuffle. But I won't know until I try. And they clash. Cling, 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 cling. Ooh. Slash the prince on the cheek. Ooh. Hmm. I see you know a thing or two about combat. Thank you. You're constantly moving to my blind spot. Circle around towards my left eye. In that case, gluttony comes out glide. Peekaboo. Doom. Uh oh. Smack. The next building. Whoosh. Yay. Home run. Ugh. I think they come through the window. Well then. Now that we're out of sight from prying eyes, I have many questions to ask you. Who are you? What are your intentions? And why can you see what's inside gluttony? Picked up on fun. It's about 40 paces to the door. Can I make it? Even when your feet is undeniable, you still plot escape. How foolish and cowardly. The girl has become a burden to you. If you leave her behind, you might stand a chance. Why do you hesitate? A burden? Let me ask you something then. If you were in my place, 
Could you bring yourself forsake your fallen comrade? Yes, I could. Glenny looked at him. Oh, shocked. That's how I've come as far as I have. I'd have no hesitation whatsoever. You're the most powerful person in this country, right? Your fur president, King Bradley. A king exists for his people. Without his people, there can be no king. On thumbs up. King Bradley. You will never be a true king. And is he pulling out something? Tunk. Explodes. A flash bomb. Curses. But blinded. You rely too much on your eyesight, Bradley. His vision won't return for a while. The wind is blowing. Good. Exit in that direction. So he's going. Another 20 steps and Bradley just chucks his sword in from him. Chunk. Okay. You may have blinded one eye. Do, do, do. Oh. But I have another. And there's the Ouroboros tattoo on his eye. Doom. You can see how that? For the first time in my life, I'm thankful for this eye patch. Glenny's like, I can't see. Where are you, Raph? My eyes. It blocked out the light from your flash bomb quite well. You mentioned something about a true king, did you not, boy? Your mature and idolized theory is worthy of contempt. Nowhere on this earth does a true king exist. <laughs> Switch to Runry in front of Mayhew's grave. It's not fair. Why does everyone disappear on me when I'm not around? His wife and child's there. Like my mom and dad. When they left for Ishbal, they said, We'll be back soon, so be a good girl and wait for us. But they never came back. <laughs> Where's the little kid with the teddy bear? My parents? The last memory I have of my parents is seeing their backs as they departed for the war zone. As the side of their backs became smaller and smaller, loneliness set in, and I started to cry. And there's Granny. But I also remember feeling admiration, knowing that my parents were acting on what they believed in. I think I saw in Mr. Hughes's back something in my father. Something that I've lost and will never regain. My mom and dad and me happily smiling between them. <laughs> and Alicia puts up her hands. I projected all of that onto Mr. Hughes, Alicia and you, Miss Gracia. Because you welcomed me like family. That made me very happy. She grabs her hand. It made me feel like my family never left. Looks back. I hope you'll visit him every now and then. He gets lonely so easily. Is the town? Alchemist. Okay. Is when we're going to over this? I hear that the Elric brothers are about to go on another rampage. Where? Like, huh? I freaked out. The place is crawling with military police. Oh, so that's why. I'm sorry, Miss Gracia. I've got to go. It's like, okay. Bye, Alicia. Bye. Now she's rushing through. Urgh. What are those idiots up to now? Okay. The state alchemist is a murder suspect? He's still around? What? Are things really under control? What's the matter to doing here, anyway? Her parents in their backs? Oh no. Why are they overlapping? She dashing? Got Scar going in? Boom! I was behind him. Well, Ed's dodging. Where the heck are the homunculi? Huh? A dead end. Hey, darn it. So he grabs the pipe. Oop. Hey, Scar gets rid of that. Oh, boosh. He's coming down. Yeah. Owl saves him. The the stone palm. Boom. Ow. Huh? My gosh. Nice one, bro. Okay. Just hurry up and get out of there. Goosh. Goes through. Ed's on a balcony. Lay doing the laundry. Crack. Eek! Crumbles. Uh oh. Why you clap? Psh. Crits a net to like get the rubble from like crushing her. Are you alright? Um, th thanks. Sorry about the mess. I'll fix it for you later. At least. Do we have permission to fire yet? Not yet, sir. Why not? Yeah! They're going in. Ooh, and we are out. Oh, sorry about that. You guy? Don't follow the bystanders. It will all be over as soon as you accept the divine judgment, full male alchemist. Don't be so unreasonable. The monk lies still haven't shown themselves, and Lin hasn't fired his signal flare. Big Brother looks tired. 
I have to buy some time. Scar. How can you accuse alchemists of defying God and take upon yourself to limit them when you yourself use alchemy? I already told you, in this city, there are those like you who create, and there are also those who destroy. East? French. Destroy? Oh, Ina, dog. If all you do is destroy, how can you hope to accomplish anything? Are you just invoking God's name so that you can justify murder? Ow. Shao Tucker. His daughter Nina. Did you tell them that you were an angel and God when you took their lives? Tucker. So, you saw the girl. He turned into a chimera. You asked, how can I hope to accomplish anything? The alchemist that I defeated the other day said something similar. He said, you're no match against those of us who create. Looks back. You claim that you wield the power of creation? The same power that turned that instant girl into an abomination? Such power succeeds only in tre uh, creating tragedy. That's the true nature of your beloved alchemy. Same about Shao. Your own hands are guilty of putting your brother into that hopeless body. But why? Why do you have to kill her? What right did you have to take her life? Tell me, Scar. You knew what would have happened, didn't you? It was impossible for her to be turned back to her former self. Left in that condition, she would live the rest of her days as a lab animal. Never again treated like a human being. He's right. Even if we didn't admit it then, we must have known that she would eventually be treated that way. We didn't know what to do to uh to with her uh, because the situation was so difficult. So we did nothing, nothing. I want that little guy's okay. There's Winry. Where are the MPs? Like squeezing by. Excuse me, let me through. It's like, hey, wait, it's dangerous there. Hey. A rubble? Huh? Pipes? It's true. We alchemists have made a lot of mistakes. And as in like the fighting pose? But that doesn't mean I agree with what you're doing. Scar, I have to ask you. Uh oh, she's gonna overhear this? Does the agent of God also take the lives of doctors who devote themselves to helping people? There's one rich foot. Do you remember a couple of Armstrong's doctors? Called Rockbell? And I was like, wait! Caesar. When this ball in civil war was at its bloodiest, they risked their lives going to the southern front to treat refugees. Wait, big brother! Scar! Do you remember the kind, loving husband and wife who saved your life? And whose lives you then took? Big brother! And he sees Winry? What? What are you saying? This is the man who killed my mom and dad? It can't be. They were killed by a person they helped save? You killed my mom and dad? And Scar looks away. Y you're not going to die? She like, gets her knees. Why? What did my mom and dad ever do to deserve that? They never did anything to harm anyone, did they? Get them back. Give me back my mom and dad. She's crying. Hold the gun. Wait, Winry, stop. She reached for it. Don't. Winry. Don't do it, Winry. I can understand why you want to hate them. But vengeance only gives birth to more vengeance. She's gonna up. Uh oh. Is she gonna shoot him? You must endure it. <laughs> she has tears running down her cheeks. Chapter 47 A Girl in the Grip of Battles, Past and Present. Got the girls? The panda and the dogs. Okay. Like construction worker. Hum da dum da dum. Hum da dum. He's getting water. Da dum. Hum. Squeeze. Kaboom! Oh. Building exploded. Sounds like we were princes. Huh? Uh, what? You know it was me, right? It's like, get out of my way! The prince comes in. Okay. With a lamp on over his shoulder. Ugh. 
Right. Dash for it. Flash bomb. Smoke bomb. And a grenade. Tis tis. Such a reckless little boy. Crack. Okay. King Bradley's looking down. Okay. Of course. When I was younger, I was every bit as wild and reckless as him. <laughs> Glenn, he's rubbing his eyes. Cough. That's the problem with getting older. I may be able to see, but my body just doesn't do what I tell it to do. Your right sight has returned, Gluttony. Can you track them by their scent? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like feeling the walls and stuff circle around from the east to contain them. Do not let them get out into the main streets. Okay. Dive into the dead end alley ahead. They will not escape again. So he puts on his eye patch. My, my. And we still haven't even dealt with Scar yet. Back at Scar. Okay. Don't shoot, Remy. Put down the gun. You shouldn't even touch something like that. Winry. She's trembling. So you're the daughter of those doctors. You have every right to shoot me. She thinks. But the moment you squeeze that trigger, I will consider you my enemy. Scar! It's like, leg one finger on Winry and I swear I'll... You'll kill me? Go ahead. This cycle of hatred will not end until one of us is dead. But do not forget, the Amishans fired the first shot in that war. It was your people, she learned then. No, Winry, don't shoot. I'm begging you not to shoot. Put down the gun and get out of here, Winry. But my mom and dad, hurry. If you cannot pull the trigger, then leave the field of battle. Okay. You are in the way. Out me on the ground. <sighs> Hey, it's getting hit. Thump. Right. <laughs> right on the wall. Thump. Slaps his arm. Okay. I was dashing in. Don't shoot. Twitch and <laughs> Ed saving Winry. Okay, Scar stopping. Older brother. Oh. So he had the. Wait. Yeah, that's the same tattoo he has. And he has another one, okay. Get down! So protect his brother. <sighs> Ned's low in the gun. Older brother. Ooh! It's the explosion alchemist guy who's in prison. Um. I don't remember his name. Okay. <laughs> Al comes in, to kicks him. Rah! Clap. Me on the ground. Boom. Gets him in the wall. Dum, 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 slam. So he opens the way out. Kablam. Stupid. Big brother. What are you thinking? Were you trying to get both of you killed? Hurry up and take Winry to safety. Huh? Oh. Winry. Leg little gun. Okay. I couldn't do it. It was him. Let go. Please. She's <laughs> crying. But he killed my mom and dad. Why? You and Al might get killed. Why? Winry, let me tell you something. Taking a gun. When you helped deliver that baby in Rush Valley, you saved the mother and child. You also gave me an arm and a leg so that I could get back on my feet. Has it. Your hands weren't meant to take people's lives. They were meant to save them. And guns down, please. Ah, <laughs> Police come in. Wah, wah. She's screaming, crying. Crunch. Officer, please take her to a safe location. Winry, he gives the gun. I was still fighting, so I gotta go. Sorry. We'll talk about this when I get back. Officer, I'm counting you. Uh, of course. But hey, are you going after Scar? We think you're. No, let him go. He's a full male hookmist. Huh? The whole guy? Oh no, I didn't salute him. I don't think Ed cares. <laughs> He's hopping over the rubble. It's like, why? Squeezing. Uh, why is there never anything for me to do but wait? What What she mean? Like, she helps him. Okay. Roy's listening to the radio. A young girl is being held under protective custody on St. Louis Street in Sector 8. She's a friend of the full male al alchemist. Uh, she's to be given extra care. This is Sector 5MP. Go ahead, HQ. 
Did she talk about Scar? No, sir. Do we have permission to fire yet? This is Sector 17. Explosion, explosion side at the old uh, Autonaut building. Could be relayed to Scar. The Sector 3 report was false. It's time. They're near St. Louis Street. Go give them back up. And you got wardrobe? Yes, sir. There's an empty house in the suburbs that we can use. If anything happens, we're at this address. Yes, sir. She's changing. Make sure you're not followed. Yes, sir. These are Sergeant Major Fury's spare glasses. I'll just borrow them. Is she popping up lenses? If I'm making progress, I'll call you at this location, so please don't move. All right. Do not enter the battle, sir. I know. Okay. Prince? All by Glenny Peak. Hmm? He's running. That one. He's sure persistent. Huh? Looks like. For like go. Oh, he's in front. The less people there are. Okay. They run me into a trap. There's a president. That fool is heading straight towards a dead end. Hmm? Boom, bam, crash, bam. I'll take care of things here. You keep an eye on Scar, huh? I like the girl better. Boom. What? Are you into women? Uh-huh. I like girls. Girl flesh is so tender and tasty. Just serve and find Scar. He's drooling. Okay. Prince, what is it? My left arm is no longer of any use. What of it? I can no longer fight. If you bother with an unworthy burden like myself, you will also fall. Then all will have been in vain. Okay. A king cannot exist without his people. Without their king, the people have no sense of purpose. Prince, you must return home alive in order to preserve the hopes of our clan. I'm not leaving behind. She's smiling. She has a kunai out. She. There are many things one can sacrifice to fill one's duty. What are you doing, Lanfon? Don't do anything foolish. You take your own life? You see a dog? No! Boom! The train? Okay, explosion. I got a cigar now. It's down my way. Do you want me to destroy you? No, I don't. I know that beneath that suit of armor, you're empty inside. Crane more footholds. Okay, they're going up to the water tower. Is that also thinks you're alchemy? Yep. How sad. You've been put into that cursed body, and yet you still put your trust in alchemy. Collapse. Boom. Get the geyser. Okay, water in the middle. Clink. It's true that there are lots of things that this body keeps me from doing, but being hindered isn't the same as being cursed. I don't need anyone's pity. Pounds the chest. Dump. My big brother made a great sacrifice to, uh, to bind my life to this world, denying what I am would be like denying my big brother's hopes, or denying alchemy itself. I still believe in the potential of alchemy. I want to believe in it. Okay. Is that so? Catch the water? Huh? Crazy mist, and he's coming in? Oh no! And here comes Ed. Boom! Kicks him in the knee. Yeah! Hmm? Oh, he's going back. Whoa! Actually hit him. Big brother, thanks for the save. How's Winry? Them peas have her in protected custody. I'm so pathetic. I made her cry again. Big brother. You're always too careless. Hmm. She caught you in mid-battle at a brutal moment. I know. Now. Let's get things under control. Peek. Uh. Boo. Ooh. Glenn comes down. I found you. Wham. Uh-oh. I found this fallen. Slurp. Your. Hey. It's a monkless. Comes in, chomps the uh, pipe, and then he presses his hand on the back. Okay. Oh, he's grinning. Boom, pounds on the wall. Slam. Ah, grind. Lynn said he would head them off before they could make their move. As dashing in, so, like slide, slide. So where is he? Present. Ooh, bird. Stride, stride, stride. Huh? hand 
Bucking. Ooh. Here's the prince coming from the sewer. Lynn. Plink, plink. Oh, bomb. Puts it in his mouth. Whoop. Whoop. Get down. Jolt. Whoop. Boom. Just explodes them. Splash, splat, splat, splat. Blood and carnage like everywhere. Oh, jaw. You. Teeth. Shh. Like disappearing. Oh. Torso. Girl. Shh. He's regenerating. Okay. Give me a strong metal cable. Huh? Okay. So he takes the railway. Shh. Wraps around. Yank. Okay. The ability to regenerate is working against you this time. Squish, squish. Gurg, gurg. Your own uh, swollen flesh is keeping you bound inside the cable. I've got you, homunculus. My hand? Well played. Oh! Wait, she cut off her own hand or arm and tied it to the dog? Arr? Uh. We got blood splatter. Okay, so she's in the, the sewer too. Blah, 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 blah. Down here. Uh oh well oh the water will wash away my trail of blood he cannot follow me now well looks like i managed to elude you monsters ah so she sacrificed his limbs like gives them both free chapter 48 a promise made by those who wait okay oh he got him I kept my promise. A monkless. What? What's going on? A monkless. Ooh! Scar gets shot in the leg. Rah! Screech! Here's Hawkeye. Blam, blam! Like, who's that? And then they see the parallel. What? Okay, quick. Get it in the car. We have to move. Huh? Huh? He grabs it. Just picking it up. Rah! Rah! In the back, wait, Hawk. And she's like, shh, like, er, okay, put him here. Wait, screech. Okay, we first, Lieutenant. He's like, ow, the MPs are watching. Pretend like uh, you don't know her. Oh, she fires some shots. A civilian? Scars down. Okay, I may not like the Colonel, but I do trust him. We'll just have to wait for him to fill us in. Right now, what we need to do is. Scar's like hobbling away. Boom! He punches him in the face. Thwack! Huh? Ooh! Puts his palm on the ground. Whoa! And then his back. Okay. Turn his back. Now's a chance. Ow. Let's get him. Okay. They both clap. For the murder of the rock bells and for everything else you've done. Clap, clap. It's time for you to face your punch mint and little girl comes in with the panda. Clink. Oh. Huh? Oof. <laughs> It's Ed Black. Throw in there. Are you right, Mr. Scar? Swah. Like, what do you think you're doing to the man who saved my life? You tiny little man? What do you say? You tiny little girl? Punk. What? And all that scars? Child? Little girl, get back. This man is dangerous. Like, uh oh. Looks like I'm outnumbered. Put up the knives. I must retreat for now. Okay, the water tower. The coal. Shoot, danger. Draws a circle on the ground. Boom! I was missed. What the? Ah! Shoot. I can't see a thing. Darn it. Scar! So they got away. Second Lieutenant Brenda told me everything. Lin Yao. I'm taking us straight to hideout. Please wait. We must pick up my comrade first. What? We don't have time for that. Please. We don't help her. She will die. She's waiting for my return. Just make it quick. Vroom, and they go past the King Bradley, okay? So, hmm. They look like Mustang pet dog. Hmm. Comes out. Why are they in such a rush? Reckless driver? The last straw. Young fool. Oh. Wee wee wee. Okay, you got coal mine guy. It's no use, sir. That row is crawling with MPs as well. We'll be safer staying here until things settle down. Hmm. He's holding his leg. Okay. The bull pass clean through your leg. I need to stop the bleeding. What are you doing? I'm going to close your wound using my purification arts. Flash. Okay. 
Amazing. The bleeding stopped. With skills like that, you never need a doctor. No, it can heal everything. Just as there is a flow of power within the earth, that which we call the veins of the dragon, the human body also has its own flow of power. She's tying up. If the flow has stopped in a certain area, I can't repair it. Also, if someone loses an arm, I can't grow a new one. Oh, so long time's like, out an alarm. Really? Like, Mr. Scar's tattoo contains elements of our purification arts mixed with this country's alchemy. It's really quite interesting. Don't you think? I wonder if blah 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 blah. Just think about Winry. Give them back. Do my eyes look like that too? Wonder, or no matter how far I travel down this road, will hatred only give birth to more hatred? Huh? Do you say something, sir? No. Wee wee wee. Oh no, them peas are nearby. Let's get out of here. Yes, sir. Come down, Mal. Let's. Huh? And Al has a panda? It's like drooling. What is that? I picked it up earlier. Like, what are you thinking at a time like this? Get rid of it. Like, Ah, uh, but it's so small and helpless. Look, it's trembling. I put his finger up to it. Of course. It's scared being grabbed by those huge hands of yours. Huh? And she bites him. Uh, ah! It's like, get rid of that monster. Throw him out the window. Do it. Now. Like, that's mean, big brother. And then chomps on his finger. Oh, it's like, crankrit, crankrit. It's okay, little fella. It doesn't hurt. You're safe now. <laughs> Has, like, the pyramid. <laughs> I was at the top, like Sam. Uh, like uh, gas, gas, gas. We arrive, sir. This way. Okay. Thank you. Uh, stay in there for now. <laughs> Al puts the panda in his uh armor. A woman with glasses fired the shots. She was wearing a white coat. Yes. Uh, what type of car was it? An SI four or S fourteen? With those, all the rich boys are driving lately. And they come across Winry. Oh, you're right, Winry. And there's a present for King Bradley. Hello, young full male alchemist. For President Bradley, why are you here? When I was questioning the MPs about the disturbance in the city, they informed me that a child or friend of yours was being held in protective custody. as a close friend of an important member of our organization. I had to give her special treatment. Well then, young lady, stands up. Now your friends are here. This old man will be leaving. Oh, yes, thank you. She's a good girl. Take care of her. Uh, what did you guys talk about? Nothing. I told him about how we've been close friends since we were kids. Just casual stuff. Hmm, Ed? How long have you known about mom and dad? Keep your promise. Tell me everything. Okay, then the car. We have flashback, so. so no one's gonna talk in the car, seeing what they talked about. Mom and Dad continue to help people until the very end. I feel better now. And I'm really proud that they're my mom and dad. But I wish more than anything that they could have come home alive. So I'm inside the window, waiting is hard and scary. Hotel. Oh, you're just in time. There's a call for you, Miss Rockbell. For me? Mr. Garfield, is everything right? I'm sorry, Winry. I try to handle everything by myself. <laughs> Got a bunch of people. But your customers just won't leave me alone. Hurry up and bring her back. Like, I don't want anyone but that girl to fix me up. Like, hey, Winry, are you still in capital C or Central City? Tetsu. Okay. Mr. Garfield just can't cut it. My legs work way better when you adjust it, Winry. Hey, I can do it. Like, no way. Sorry, Mr. Garfield. Uh, but I don't trust such a funny-looking guy working on my legs. What? Who are you calling funny-looking? Don't you know sexy when you see it? Yeah, well, I'd rather have a cute girl fix my on any day. Like, Winry, hurry up and build that new casting for me, for my leg, that uh, you made a model of. The other day, you promised to make me a lighter one. Remember? You're so lucky. Maybe I'll have her make me a lighter one too. They're they're just passing the phone around. Come back soon, please. 
It's not the same without you. More tea, Mr. Garfield. I'm working. Hello. Huh? Mary's not back yet? Wah ha Hey. You're drunk, aren't you? Er. I'll come back later. Come back. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll be back right away. Carriage rolls down her cheek. Just hold on. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Thank you. Okay. The trains. You'll be alright by yourself. Uh-huh. Besides, Mr. Garp said he'll meet me at Rush Valley Station. About earlier. Thanks for stopping me. I guess I have people that are waiting for me to come back too. Uh, if I'd done that, I wouldn't have been able to show my face to those people ever again. I'm coming in, Jean. Here are your military discharge form. Creek. Oh, thanks, Mom. Squeezing. Okay. What are you doing? Like muscle training. Brenda told uh, Brenda gazed at me. That's not what I mean. Your wounds haven't even completely closed yet. But I'm getting out of shape. A good friend told me that retirement doesn't suit me. And my superior told me to hurry up and catch up to him. What a bunch of jerks, huh? Even when I'm down. They won't let me off the hook. Does this mean you're not going into retire to retire from the military? No. In the condition I'm in. I'd just be a hindrance to them. I can catch up to them even if I'm not in the military. It won't be easy, Gene. Doctor said the road to recovery will be long and painful. I can do it. I haven't completely come to terms with what happened to mom and dad. Everyone's waiting for me, so clench. I'm gonna get them both of them saying the same thing. With everyone's help, I'll pull through. Keep up your automobile maintenance. I know. I'll probably get two, and she's learning to train, and I'll send you some good polish and oil soon now. Okay. Don't die me, right? Okay. Okay, sweet. Next time. Huh? What? I can't hear you. Huh? So you walk away? Big brother. Wait. Big brother. Bye, Winry. Uh, oh, uh, bye. Strong away. Wait, Ed. What did you say? It's like, I couldn't hear you. So strained. What do you say? Stops. Turns. The next time I make you cry, there'll be tears of joy. Al and I will get our original bodies back, no matter what. And we'll make you so happy that you'll cry. Chica. You can count it. It's like, got it. Kicks <laughs> Al. It's like, tweet. How cute. That was so sweet, big bro. It's like, ah, shut up, stupid. Promises are meant to be kept, you know? Have I ever broken a promise? All the time. She's thinking about him. I'm going to be a stay alchemist. You have to make me a new arm and a leg so that I can move freely. I have one year. And the house burning down? There's no turning back now. His back? Ah, his back. Oh, I see. Maybe I've been in love with him from a long time ago. Wait. So she actually loves him. Is Egan like pick that up? Okay. Clink clink. Ooh, there's nothing. Okay. Colonel. Uh, the concierge told me I might find you here. I want to go back to the hotel, though, if I were you. The place is crawling with MPs. If they find you, they won't let you leave. That's right. Do that scar you away. They'll probably try and stick us with some bodyguards again. What happened to the monkless? Hawkeye called and said they've taken it to an empty house in the suburb. That's where we're heading now. Check behind us. Check behind us to see if we're being followed. Okay, okay. Like, you haven't fully recovered yet, have you? Should you be driving? I'm running short on pawns that I can move. So I have no choice but to move myself. You don't have a lot of allies, do you? Maybe you're not very popular. I don't want to hear that from you. It's like, we have to pick up someone along the way. Okay? Is it picking up? Oh, the doctor, okay. The waiting? Oops. Why are you here? I'm with a seriously injured person. I need a doctor. There are plenty of doctors in the city. Ask someone else. I can't risk revealing my identity. I need someone I can trust. Ah. Uh, so you drag me back into your dirty business. You always were a guy. 
I could say the same thing about you, my accomplice. Look, we both know I could make you do this. But I know you have a family now. If you really can't get away right now, I'll understand. The door, wait here. I'll get my equipment. So you'll do it. I don't mind. I could divorce right after I came back from baseball. Aw. Okay. This must be there, yep. She walks through the sewers after cutting off her own arm. Don't blame me if you get tinnitus. Tetanus? Okay. Uh, lately, all I deal with are corpses. Like, I'm, uh, I might be a bit rusty. Is she in fever? Hold her shoulder for me. And, lady, yes, sir. Her? Bring the light in closer. Yes, sir. And then it's outside. Okay. I'm sorry. You're thinking we got you guys into this, right? What's with that look on your face? You do us both a disservice. I told you that we're fighting a joint front. It was I who approached you with this plan. And I did so to benefit myself, not out of charity. I don't need your guilt or your pity. I left my country knowing that a certain amount of sacrifice would be necessary if I was going to find the secret to immortality. Yes. With the fate of my clan weighing on my shoulders, I thought I had enough conviction. But I was wrong. I was too naive. Lanfan had much more conviction than I did. They go in. Are you alright? Like, keep watch outside. Hawkeye's gonna look outside. Is there anything that we can get for you? A mechanical arm. In this country, you have a thing called Onel, you not? <laughs> Now that I have lost my arm, I shall need a new one, in order to serve my prince. Uh-huh. I'll introduce you to a, a good engineer. Yeah, okay. Let's things out. Talk to the prince. She's a strong one. Yes, I'm proud to have a vessel like her. Uh, oh, I've introduced myself yet. I'm Marie Musting, a colonel in the state military. I've heard a lot about you. You're a prince from Zing, right? I'm Lin Yao. Twelfth son of the Emperor of Zin. Thank you for bringing a do the doctor. Not at all. He also helped us considerably with the Murray Ross incident. I'm fiercely though it may be. I'm happy to make the acquaintance of a colonel in the Armstrong Ar Army. Yes. I also have a feeling that down the line I'll be glad I have a connection to the Imperial family of Zin. But the biggest prize of all is... Glenny. Gush, gush. Hey, who is that? It's a monk that's called Gluttony. A monk? Careful. It has a philosopher's stone inside his body, so it's hard to kill. Uh, but it will die eventually if you keep killing it. Am I stupid or are you crazy? Neither. A philosopher's stone is made by sacrificing the lives of countless human beings. This monster is made with one of those stones at its core. That's what a monkless is. And if that's not bad enough, apparently these things are somehow connected to a sanction of the military high command. When May Hughes uncovered the military's dark side, he was killed by these things. Is that true? High command. It goes deeper than that. What? King Bradley. So he's telling him. I think he too might be a monkless. Yep. Okay. What? No, all amazed. Under his patch, I saw the mark on his eye. He and Glenny has cornered. No way. The head of the country is amongst us? But how can that be? I mean, if the president is amongst us, there's no way that his family and aides would notice. That's the thing. Within Glenny, I can sense the presence of a non human entity. I don't sense that in Bradley, so he's made differently. He has the same presence as a human being. According to the text, a monkless lacks the ability to reproduce. But the president has a child, doesn't he? Uh-huh. But his son Salem was adopted. Oh, the president doesn't have any biological children of his own. Huh. Monster human being. Either way, this makes it easier for me to drag him off of his presidential throne. First, I'll get some information on gluttony. 
and if it can be removed or takes lots of stone as well, then I might be able to use it to heal havoc. Hey, 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 like, this is our only lead to immortality, and Lan found lost her arm for it. I must take Gluttony back to Zing and Mili. Now just hold on. We've been looking for a way to get our original body back, too. I'm not gonna just let you take it. That's right. You guys are here without visas. Do you think that you can take Gluttony and travel within this country without our help? I can't handle any more of this. I'm going home, Mustang. What? Wait. I need you to stay here in case we need to take a vote. That's not fair, Colonel. You're playing dirty. I should have priority. I must get back to Zing before the Emperor dies. Glenny's like, Mustang? Mustang, uh-oh. You killed Lust. Lust. Colonel Mustang. Why Mustang? And his chest, he has like, uh, claws and eye coming out? Whoa! It just explodes? Do you get them too? Wait, they can self-destruct? Chapter 49 A Monster Among Men Oh, Ed's safe. Also Mustang. What? It's like claws coming out of his chest. What that thing just do? The heck? Okay, go back to the present. Click, click, click. Wrath. Pride. I hear that scar has escaped. Yes. And in addition, Glenny has been captured. What? What went wrong? You need to do better than that. You see a shadow figure? Lately. They've been making a mockery of you. It's not like you to be so relaxed. I know, you're right. You seem awfully relaxed about all this. I deny that. I find it all somewhat amusing. So many unforeseen turns. Our plan falling apart. And you find it amusing? Precisely. Sixty years ago. From the day I was born. I was locked in the life path of King Bradley. And now I'm sitting at the top of this country. Just as father planned. No one ever got in my way. Because father always got rid of them. Got moth to flame. A script was provided for me. And I've lived my life according to it. So you're saying that something has happened to drive you from that path. Colonel Mustang. The Elk Brothers. The Foreigners. These youngsters have us running in circles. Us. The supposedly crafty ones. What are you, ta what are you trying to say? The time of the youth might soon be approaching. Pride. Wrath. You've been among humans for too long. Perhaps you're right. Don't forget. And the moth got taken by the spider. We are the beings that those humans called monsters. I know that. I will now report this conversation, Father. Even though your words could be interpreted as... Munis. Ha ha ha. How kind you. So... What do we do about Glenny? Well, I know Glenny is approximate location from the information I've gathered from the MPs. He was taken by Lieutenant Hawkeye. Green. Go underground. In addition, Colonel Mustang went to inspect the city during the day and apparently still hasn't returned. Hmm? Got Marco. Hey, Doc. Here's your grub. Huh? You haven't, you haven't even touched your previous meal. Like, that's no good. Your cannon to be our human sacrifice. You need to stay healthy. I've been doing a lot of thinking. I don't care about my own life. But what do you plan to use me for? That's a secret. Don't worry. Just keep doing what we say. And you'll get a front row seat to something really interesting. Interesting? You're trying to use the people of this country to make an enormous philosopher stone. I've seen what you guys are doing. You're creating a transmutation circle that covers Andras. And when it's done, you'll sacrifice everyone inside to make the Slosser Stone. Okay. And the next point of the circle to see blood will be the North. 
Huh, nice try. You're so close. Close. Uh-huh. The nerf will be next. So, now that you figured out, uh, figured that part out, uh, it's not as if you're in a position to do anything about it. Not that uh, you've ever been one to do anything. When you were threatened that uh, if you did anything foolish, the village would be wiped out. You knew that the people of this country were in danger, but you still didn't take any action, right? If you had weighed the cost, it would have been an easy decision. The population of this country against the population of the village that you were a doctor in. It's obvious which one is greater. If you turn your back on that tiny village, you might have been able to save many more people. Like you can't measure the worth of a person's life with additional or with addition or subtraction. Ha 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 ha. Yes, that's how you humans think. And knife the stake. I killed a man a while back who thought like that too. When I disguised myself as wife, he couldn't react in time and lost his chance to strike. Stab the stake. Y'all, you're all so easy to manipulate, human. And here's King Bradley. What's all this? What's all? What's with all the idle ch chatter, Envy? Hmm? President Bradley. I stand up. It's been a long time, Marco. I'm glad to see that you're well. Huh? Lenny's been captured by a Mustang group. What? What gives, old man? I thought you said you take care of the flame alchemists. And words of pride. I thought he was supposed to help you. He was at the scene when Gluttony was caught. A guy. He only shows himself when he's not needed. I have a general idea of where Gluttony was taken. I want you to go get him. Sheesh. I guess I have no choice. He bites the snake. I just hope he hasn't gone on a rampage. Okay. Got Hawkeye coming in. Smolder. What the? Yeah, the Colonel. He goes in. What's going on here? Colonel. Stop, Lieutenant. Hmm? Kaboom! Oh. Last? Colonel. Where are you, Colonel? There's plenty. Oh. He's like. Mouth just opens wider. And wow, she's like shooting Krish? Uh oh. <laughs> I'll save the doctor and. Boy. And. It's beyond him. Is that the prince? No, that's it. Okay. Colonel, don't provoke it, Lieutenant. I'm the one that's after her. Like Mustang. It's like, boom. Like Lanfon. Oh. He's helping her? What's happening, my prince? Rumble, 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 rumble. We're getting out of here. The monster. Had another monster inside his stomach. That's what they were sensing, girl. It's swollen everything in his path. Is, is this the kind of monster I'll be great? Okay. Mustang's put on a new glove. We have no choice. I'm going to kill it. Wait, a live homunculus is just what we wanted, right? Our survival gives priority. Plus, he knows our names and faces. We can't risk letting this thing escape alive. Snap. <laughs> like engulfs in flames. Whoosh. And bye. And shh, sucking up all the flames. Burp. He swallowed the flames. Uh oh. Boom! And they get out of the way. You're useless. Then why don't you do something? Okay. No offense, Colonel. But would you mind not following us? It's you that things wants. Okay. Have the wits. Split up. That's what I saw. Got birds. Oh. There's gluttony. Oh, shoot. Bam! Hawkeye gets him. Split the bird. Bam, 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 bam! Bobble. Oh. <laughs> he, like misses. Ah! Side. Oops. Ugh. Down. This is pathetic. Hurry up, boy. Get in the car. Mm. We're leaving. She can get better. She can get better, med better medical treatment in the city. Get in, or I'm gonna. I'm going without you. I'm just a civilian. I shouldn't be here. Whatever trouble you people have stirred up, I'm not about to lose my life for it. Boom, boom, boom. Stomp, stomp. Where are you, Roy Mustang? I'll make you disappear. And there he is. Roy Mustang. Kaboom! And takes him out. Oh, it's a dummy. Crackle, crackle. Oh, okay. Wood. Okay. Do you fall off the dummy? 
Hope it's not in some berserker rage. Okay, we come to the car. Hurry up. Hurry up and get in the car. You useless fool. Get in, Lieutenant. Take care of Lundbun. Hey, you can't tell me to leave at a time like this. So they're all going. We'll just be in... Or you'll just be in my way. Big slam. Huh? Please go. I'm afraid I must concur, sir. You'll be no help to them in your condition. And these mushrooms growing in his hair. Useless. I'm really useless. I'm useless. Colonel can be dense. Look, there are things to be done that only a colonel can do. The fact that the head of the military is among us isn't something that you can just ignore, is it? There's no time for chit chat. Hurry up and get in the car and look at each other. There's no room. There's not enough room. Just go without us. So the prince and an hour are going to stay behind. Don't be a fool. We can't bend any new kids here on the battlefield. It's like, the thing you seek isn't really a monkless or the foster stone, is it, Colonel Mustang? So shouldn't you be battling military high command? As for us, we still need to get some information out of that gluttony thing. We'll take care of him. The fact that uh, we're kids is irrelevant. We're the ones that came up with this plan. It's up to us to clean up our own mess. Thank you for all the help you've given us. Okay, Edward, Shikun Gun, take this with you. You know how to use it, don't you? That's a tool for killing people. It's a tool for protecting yourselves. Okay. Your hands weren't meant to be used for killing people. Don't die. I'll take it. Boom. Okay. Huh? Please care. Take care of Lonfon. Prince. Prince. Like, let's go, Doctor Knox. Ah, uh, bam. Those idiot brats. Try and be so noble. It's people like that who die young. Vroom, now off they're going. Okay. The president is a monkless. So Lynn says. But I can't be sure unless I see it with my own eyes. So, the, the one who gave the order for this fall annihilation campaign might not even be human. If there are other monkless who live among us who pretend to be human, that could be problematic. And here comes a horse. Obviously, that's envy. Okay. Huh. It's more creepy than problematic. Boom. Like, where's Roy Mustang? How dare you kill us? I'll never forgive you. And they're hiding in the bushes. I know I said that. I bowed that thing, but it's totally freaking me out. You're doing a complete 180. How are we going to catch it? If it could at least go back to the original more gentle form. If only the colonel was still here. Maybe if we threw him into Glitney's mouth. That will calm him down. Great deal, Lynn. Boom! So, where's all the stuff this wall is going to? Anyway, it's a mystery. How should I know? This is a monk light or made from alchemy, right? You tell me. Ah, oh, jeez. This is going nowhere. Panda? Bing. Turns? Brr. What's wrong? And there's Andy the horse. A horse! Stop, Gluttony. It's like, oh, which? He spoke. You're the one. From the other day. Changes the envy. Zoop. Merk, merk. Yo. Zoom. Long time no see, little full metal boy. Okay. Fake preview for next volume. You think you're the only one that can transform? What? Transform Panda? Actress, anti monkless secret weapon. Tangerine juice? My eyes, my eyes! Oh, you blind him. Ha ha ha. You lie too much on your eyes, Bradley. Bubble. Glenny. Like, lemon juice. Like, my eye, my eye. It's <laughs> prison lie in the middle. It's like, ha ha, roll, roll. Okay? Stop it. Whoa. My head almost hit the top of the doorway. Whoa. Get some bed. Whoa. This bed sure is small. I can't even tuck my feet in. Do I want my jeans hemmed up? No thanks. Nope, nope. They're fine the way they are. Like, what are you doing, big brother? Doing? I'm training. For when I grow taller. No thanks. Like, uh. Okay. Masuda Hito, 30 years old. 
Colonel Mustang is always going around acting like an airhead. Mm -hmm. But actually, he's known as the Ido of Ishbal because he because of his actions during this fall into war. Really? Yes. Mustang was Mustang's was much akin to a god of war. He was truly worthy of being called the Hero of Ishbal. Not less? Yes. The Hero of Ishbal. Is special indeed. Ah those characters are supposed to read EU. Which means hero, okay. I'm the hero of Ishbal, not the Hero of Ishbal. And a Zuki bean, a small red bean. Snap. Yeah, lyrics for a song. Huh. So they caught Gluttony and then he <laughs> escaped. Well, that's uh, volume 12. Wow. Okay, let's go review what we read. Okay. Volume 12, chapter 46. We have Hohenheim, um, his caravan being held up, and then they fire him. So is Hohenheim. Wait. Have we seen all of them? I thought there were only seven homunculi. Is there eight? It's like avarice, I think. So they fire them and they get spooked and they run away. Um, yeah, Bradley and Glenny is the prince and he just slices Glenny up. Okay. Goes after Bradley. Glenny comes back. Knocks him in the next building. So. Let's think about escaping. So they blind them. And then he's running for it. But then Bradley chucks his uh, sword in his way. Find that he's a, uh, his Ouroboros tattoo is on his uh, left eye. So he can see out of it. Yeah, I guess the only reason why he's hiding it is because it's the tattoo. So he's Wrath. Lenny still can't see. We switch to Renry, who's in front of uh, Mayhew's grave. Um, they get back in town. She hears about Ed and Al. So she runs. They're fighting Scar. They're ducking, dodging everything. That's when uh, they talk about Nina. Or the Chimera. Shout Tucker. Okay. Winry's like getting through. She overhears what they're talking about. That Scar killed Winry's parents. And uh she slumps down, grabs the gun, points at him. Chapter forty seven. Got the explosion. Got the prince coming out, running for it. The Glenn and King Bradley are going to follow him. We switch to Winry with the gun. Scar. They're pleading for her to like put down the gun. It protects her. And the person who went after them is the the guy who like fires who's in prison. They drive Scar back. Al goes after him while Ed takes care of Winry. Gets the gun away from her. Uh, Winry goes in to protect the custody while Ed follows Al. Soon after, Mustang and Hawkeye overhear this on the radio. She changes. The princes run away. And Gluttony and the president. Okay. His bodyguard's arm doesn't function anymore. So that's the dog that she put the arm on. Okay. We go back to Scar and Al. 
they're finding get them all wet. It comes in, save Al. Then Gluttony shows up. They start finding Gluttony. Bradley catches up to Arm. Let's attach the dog. The prince pops out of the sewer. Um, puts a bomb in Gluttony's mouth. And he explodes. So they get strong metal cable to wrap around it so that it can like break free. Because it's regenerating and like more mass makes it constrict more. Um, we see the, the the arms attached to the dog. And um Lunfen's in the sewer. Chapter forty eight. Go back to scar on them. We got Gluttony wrapped up. Hawkeye comes in. <laughs> She's got on left leg. Uh, Prince puts him back in the car while they, they get away. We gotta keep a little profile that they don't know Hawkeye. So he goes out to Scar. But then uh, the Alchemist comes in with their panda. Uh, Save Scar. I produce an alchemy. Hawkeye, the prince, and Gluttony go off in the car. That's when uh, King Bradley sees them. Come to do from the coal mine. Uh, Alchemist fixed up Scar leg. Girl, I guess, forgets about the panda. But. Al picked him up, so they might come in like across the little girl again because they're keeping it. And Al's at the top of the pyramid, so Ed's at the bottom. So go to the, the military quarters where Winry is talking to King Bradley. Um, they go back to the hotel where she has a call from people back at Rush Valley. Or, um, is it Rush Valley? Or wherever she was entering, or she was working at. Um, so she's heading back. Um, have extraneous his wrist. There's, uh, strength. It promises to never make her cry. Unless it's like tear joy uh, with them getting their bodies back. Remembers all this. They come out of the station, they come across Ray Mustang. So they're going to pick up the doctor. They go in the outskirts where he treats her. Um, okay. Got Glenny still bulging. They're talking out openly about all this. Glenny figures out that Roy Mustang's there, so he explodes. Like, just consumes everything around him. Uh, chapter 49. Glenny's, like, true form shows. Where he's, like, a, his mouth grows even deeper. So he's, like, sucking everything in that's in, like, his path. We switch to Raph or Bradley talking to Pride, which we see a shadowy figure. So that's not Hohenheim. That must be someone else. Okay, they're talking about that things are happening. Uh, switch to MV and Marco. They're giving him food, but he's not eating. President comes down. So does Marco know know that the president is a monk lie? We switch back to the, the 
property on the outskirts. And uh, Hawkeye's gun just gets in ingested. Everyone's safe. So they start running away. Prince gets his assistant. Uh, Mustang tries to torch it, but it just consumes the fire. They run the forest. Hawkeye tries to hear it, but then it goes for Mustang and like off kilters. Doctor Prince and his bodyguard get in the car. Okay. Lenny finds the double ganger for Roy Mustang, the dummy. Okay. They run back to the car. Roy's in the car. So is Hawkeye. Uh, the prince is going to stay with Alan, Ed, to take care of um, Lenny. Hawkeye gives Ed the gun. Um, so they're talking about the present being monkless, but Mustang doesn't like think it's true. He has to see with his own eyes. Got Envy rushing in. Glenny's still eating. Taking out everything. The panda turns, senses Envy. And he changes back to the form. And that's volume 12. So. Now they're going to fight two of Monkly. Well. Mustang goes back to Central City. Rainer's going back to where she works. Scar and them are. Doing their own thing. So they're creating like a big circle to sacrifice everyone in like the country. How much preparation is that? How, much, how long have they been doing this? Well, um, what are your thoughts? Um, if you're new, subscribe or comment. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.